Rep. Andy Biggs confronted Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle about Thomas Crooks' shocking act of opening fire at a Donald Trump rally. Director Cheadle was pressed to reveal Crooks' motives and whether he acted alone in this brazen attack. Your agency has a no-fail mission, and on Saturday, July 13th, your agency spectacularly failed. The failure resulted in the death of Corey Comprador and serious injury to two other rally attendees, David Dutch and James Copenhaver, besides the injuries to President Trump. It is unfathomable that a 20-year-old on the radar of Secret Service and local law enforcement before President Trump went on stage was able to climb onto the roof of a building with a rifle and fire off multiple rounds before he was neutralized. Was Mr. Crooks acting alone? Again, I would have to refer you to the FBI's investigation. Was he just a lone gunman? I would have to refer you to the FBI's investigation for motive. Government agencies like the Secret Service hold immense responsibility, and accountability is crucial. Andy Biggs' probing questions demand transparency and answers about the glaring security lapses that allowed such a breach. The inability to prevent a Thomas Crooks' actions highlights a severe security weakness. For conservatives, bolstering security to safeguard public figures is paramount to prevent future tragedies. This incident starkly illustrates government inefficiency. The public rightfully demands efficient and effective government operations, and such alarming events necessitate a thorough overhaul of security protocols.